Darkness is about to fall on this Halloween night, and everyone is once again being asked to play it safe as trick-or-treaters storm the streets. Little ghosts and goblins are already hopping around town. And with everything from parties to pumpkin patrol, safety is number one. News Force George Rickard is live for us tonight in Kenmore. Happy Halloween, George. Happy Halloween, John. We're about an hour away from sunset, and if you're looking for something different to do tonight, this is the place. 439 Tremaine. All these characters are going to be inside starting at 6 o'clock for a haunted house for charity. It may not look too big from the outside, but it is amazing. Watch what they do inside. Take a look at this. It is a dark maze that runs through Greg Heinemann's driveway and backyard. Up to 30 volunteers will be working this tonight, starting at 6 p.m. It is free, but any donations you can give go to the uh, Food Bank of Western New York, Hearts for the Homeless, Units, Make-A-Wish. So far this year, 3,000 people have come to this free haunted house in Kenmore. I've been doing it 21 years now on this scale since 2007. Why do I do it? Somebody's got to step up in the horror industry and start doing some charity events because these people really don't have an outlet, and we're giving them that outlet because usually they go to movies, stuff like that, but they don't have a chance to donate. Here's where they can donate. Once again, this is 439 Tremaine Avenue in Kenmore. There's another one like this that also is for charity. That's at 376 Hamilton Boulevard. Both for charity. Both will be very busy tonight. And me and all these characters will be inside at 530. Join us then. For now, live on Tremaine in Kenmore, George Rickard, News 4. Run, George, run. <laughs> Little ghosts and goblins are out in full force tonight, and safety, of course, is the number one priority in Kenmore. News Force George Rickard is live for you on Tremaine Avenue there, George. Oh, yeah, you're inside. I am inside now, and this is something safe but very scary that you can do tonight. I am inside a haunted house that raises money for charity. Take a look at what's going to jump out at you when you come here. This is Greg Heinemann's house at 439 Tremaine Avenue. He started this 20 years ago, and now it has grown to over 30 volunteers playing a character inside. It is free, but any donations go to the food bank, units, hearts for the homeless, and make a wish. If you're concerned this may be too scary by looking at it, you can request one of two levels of scariness. First one is get in your face and make it to your pants if we can. We will, and we've had probably about 30 of those so far. Uh, for the people that are a little timid about it, what we'll do is we have a flashlight tour. We'll send them through with a flashlight. When the, when the actors see the person with the flashlight, they automatically get scared of that person. This way it empowers them, hopefully takes the fear of horror out of them, and makes them enjoy themselves much more. Once again, this is 439 Tremaine Avenue in Kenmore. They are very close to their goal of $1,000 raising that money tonight. There are some kids coming through. It doesn't officially start until 6 o'clock tonight, but this runs until 11 o'clock. For everybody else trick-or-treating, they're going to be knocking at your door very soon. Trick-or-treating is about to begin, and in most communities it ends at 8. The city of Buffalo, for example, the mayor has requested no trick-or-treating after 8, no giving out candy after 8 in the city. We'll have more at 6. Live on Tremaine Avenue in Kenmore, George Rickard, <laughs> News 4. George, look up behind oh you. <laughs> Up next, how to keep children safe amid the ghouls and ghosts and things that go bump in the night. Bill Rickert is live in Kenmore. Boy, I have seen some scary backyard haunted houses, but this one takes the cake. We'll be live next. Halloween is a fright night for the kids. But it's a lot scarier for parents who worry that children will be safe on their trick-or-treat journeys. A safe event is underway right now in Kenmore, where News Force George Rickard is live tonight. Spooky, George. Very spooky. There are actually two houses like this in Kenmore. I'm going to give both of their addresses at the end. It's free and it's worth coming to if you're in the area. Take a look at what they do inside. Now, this is uh, Greg Heinemann's house at 439 Tremaine Avenue. He started this 20 years ago, and now it has grown to over 30 volunteers playing a character inside. In the last few weeks, 3,000 people have gone through this maze, this dark maze, through his driveway. It's free, but any donations go to the food bank, units, hearts for the homeless, and make a wish. We like to have it the throwback. We don't have the money for the animatronics and the big set scenes. We garbage pick just about everything we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we use live actors 
Uh, it's better than uh, going and seeing all that for X amount of dollars if you want that kind of thrill. This is for people on a budget, for people that just want to save a few bucks in this economy time, and we give them a top-rated semi-professional haunted house. We get about 40 actors in there when we have a full night. Tonight we should have a full night. We also have about 10 out front, give or take. Um, we have a fire act that's amazing. We have a freak show. Um, there's a bunch of people that take part in that. So really there's about 50 total people between staff and actors that we get running through here. We are back live at 439 Tremaine. This runs until 11 o'clock tonight. It's free, as we said, another house like this about five blocks away at 376 Hamilton Boulevard. That starts at 7, goes till 1030. We are live in Kenmore. Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm George Rickard, News 4.